Officials said they had identified as many as 21 deaths in Florida linked to the storm, as residents struggled to find drinking water and hospitals could no longer operate. President Biden is speaking on the response. Calling wind and rain last Charleston's historic downtown and other parts of the coastal Carolinas as Hurricane Ian began to make landfall on Friday afternoon. In Florida, officials said that at least 21 deaths were possibly linked to the storm, a toll they expected to rise in the coming days. The governors of Georgia and South Carolina have declared states of emergency, but no widespread evacuation notices have been issued ahead of Ian's impact. Fort Myers Beach, in southwest Florida, was hit especially hard, Governor Ron DeSantis said. Some of the homes were wiped out, he said. Some of it was just concrete slabs. Protests broke out across Cuba as desperate citizens demanded that the government restore electricity and provide aid to areas ravaged by Ian this week. About 2 million customers are still without power in Florida. John Tecklenburg, the mayor of Charleston, said about 39,000 people in Charleston County were without power. The flooding in the city, so far, has been moderate, he said, and the seawall has largely kept out the roiling waves. The boardwalk at Myrtle Beach, S.C., is usually teeming with tourists, as beachgoers whack volleyballs on the sandy courts below or relax under the colorful umbrellas that dot the shoreline. But on Friday, as the area waited for Hurricane Ian, live web camera footage showed a very different picture, a storm surge pushed toward the dunes, leaving little sand visible. A lone emergency vehicle patrolled the boardwalk. Palm trees began to wobble. Live webcams have become a way for people to monitor their hometowns and beloved vacation destinations in the midst of the storm. On Thursday, some webcams showed the shocking inundation as the storm surge transformed beach towns across the Gulf Coast. As Hurricane Ian makes its way from Florida to the South Carolina and Georgia coastlines, other webcams of popular vacation spots offered similar vantage points. On Hilton Head Island, tides began to rise around the red and white striped Harbor Town Lighthouse. The webcam at the ferry landing on Hilton Head picked up the sound of howling winds. The Tybee Island Lighthouse camera showed large waves crashing along the shoreline, 